Hello everyone, I am B.O.B. and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. And upon a request today, we will be building just a very basic iron farm. Uh, there's nothing real special about this particular model. Rates are pretty standard for bedrock. You're looking at about a half a stack to a stack per hour. Now the reference material I used to research this project were, was actually a couple different sources. One would be the Minecraft Wiki. Uh, I, you know, I resort to that quite often for, for many different subjects and it's, it tends to be a pretty reliable source of information. And then of course another reliable source of information that uh, I used as reference for this particular farm was was actually Silent Whispers Iron Farm tutorial. Uh, now his is, is a much more technical design uh, and could also be used as a villager trading hall. So it's kind of got a dual purpose there, but it, it involves a lot of hassle <laughs> with villagers, you know, uh, and like, uh, I'm going to link his tutorial as well as, uh, you know, the Minecraft wiki in, in the description below. Uh, but if you watch his tutorial, you'll see what I mean about hassle with villagers. And it's the type of thing that I just despise doing in Minecraft. I mean, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. The villager, it's the most useful mob in the game. But working with these guys, oh, oh I'd almost rather do anything else. Now the materials required for this build you're going to find in this chest right here. First we're going to need a chest for collection uh, and one hopper. You will need it, it, just one nether brick fence post. Uh, and this has to be nether brick fence because you need a fence post that won't burn. <laughs> and that's pretty much your only option. Uh, you will need a bell. Uh, 24 signs of your choice. You're going to need 22 beds. Uh, technically you only need 21. Uh, but uh, I added an extra bed for symmetry. <laughs> You're going to need to round up about 10 villagers and 5 cats. Now, if you have 10 villagers, you shouldn't have any problem finding 5 cats. Uh, but we're going to be sticking them in, in the farm in a certain way, and we'll talk about that when the time comes. Uh, You're going to need at least one bucket of lava. Uh, You're going to be putting a whole bunch of water into this farm so just bring two buckets for an infinite source it's going to take about five solid building or five stacks of solid building blocks excuse me <laughs> and then about four stacks of glass blocks now potentially you could switch some of these out with panes and save yourself some material but to be honest i haven't done any experimenting with that so i can't really promise what type of results it might yield and then uh finally i'll be putting just about 13 sea lanterns into this build which are entirely unnecessary i just like the way they look now typically it's not a good idea to build these things too close to other villages or villager related farms so you can see i got myself a good distance from my other farms here that's my display model over there and that was another prototype that that didn't quite work out the way i wanted it to uh but I got myself a good distance from those, so I shouldn't have to worry about those being loaded at all. Uh, my render distance is uh, far further than my simulation distance, so shouldn't be a concern. Uh, but uh, I did map out a 19 by 19 area that we're going to be building this farm in. Now, you really don't have to worry about chunk aligning this thing. Uh, I've, I've never heard of any issues with that. Uh, but uh, what you do want to do is find the exact center of your 19 by 19 area which and you would like to build this farm and in that exact center that's where we're going to place our collection chest but we're going to build that one put that one block off the ground so i'm going to put that block underneath and boom that's our collection system now we want just a hopper feeding into that chest and then we're going to build off of this hopper you want to come eight blocks off of each side so just shift click uh shift place the first one and then go so that's one two three four five six seven eight and then do the same thing over here shift the first one one two three four five six seven eight do that the whole way around and once you've done that you should have this giant plus symbol now what we're going to do from here is kind of connect the corners so just kind of start on one side and bring it all the way out till it would line up with the end of the other one uh the other arm here and bring that one together like that. Do this around all four corners. 
And once that's done, you should end up with this shape right here. Now what we're going to do is just fill in these four squares so we have a nice solid platform. And once that's done, it should look a bit like this. You have yourself a 17 by 17 platform with a hopper smack dab in the middle. Uh, so what we need to do now is build our glass walls up off the side. Uh, so you want these two blocks up off of this block level here. So I'm going to step up off with a temporary uh, block right there. Go there, go too high, glass wall, and then take this the whole way around the farm. Uh, this is where I'm going to be putting in some sea lanterns. I'm going to put them on the corners. You don't need to do that. <laughs> you could, you don't even need blocks on the corners technically. Uh, but this is where you could be switching out the glass blocks for panes. Uh, if you did that, whenever we put in our water sources, you want to make sure you put your water source on the block beneath and not on the pane itself or else it would waterlog the pane but as i said earlier i didn't do any testing with that so i'm just going with the glass the solid glass blocks uh for the tutorial but, and but go ahead and wrap this wall the whole way around and once you're done with that part it should look a little something like this now what we're going to do here is come to the center of your platform and we're going to uh crouch place a your nether brick fence right there on top of your hopper and then you're going to want to go ahead and place your bell right there on top of your nether brick fence now you're going to want to get your signs and on each side of this bell you're going to have to crouch to place it on on this side or else you just ring the bell uh, but go ahead and crouch place a sign and then two more on this on the face of that sign and then, now it's right up in my face and you want to do this on all four sides of the bell and now you should have this sort of shape here that sort of defies gravity uh, but what we're going to do is add in just a few more si uh, signs so what, what we want to do is come to like the far end right here and on this sign i'm going to go ahead and place just one sign on the side of that nope that doesn't need to say anything and then two signs right here come to the other side do sort of the same thing one side on that one sign on the side of that sign two signs on the side of this sign Come to the opposite side of the farm, repeat the pattern. One sign, two signs, and one sign, two signs, and when it's done you should have this right here. And now we're going to be placing in some temporary blocks. Now I'm going to just use my normal building block for this bit but you probably want to use something like dirt or nether rack something that can be mined out easily because you will be taking all these blocks out eventually uh but what i want to do is well we'll put a solid block right on top of this bell here and then come out one two three four blocks on this side one two three four blocks on this side and then we're going to put two rows of blocks coming from this block. So one, two, three, four, five, six, oops, seven. So it'd be seven across and then another seven across this way. So you have this sort of shape. Come across the other side and make it symmetrical. We'll just add seven blocks here, seven blocks here. And then we need to get our beds. Okay, now to place in the beds, we're going to start off by just placing in some of them. Uh, we will need m m a few more than this, but uh, it's easier to just start off with some. This way we can leave a path for our villagers to find their appropriate bed. Uh, so let's just lay them in on the sides here, like this. Seven across this side. Seven across this side. Let's go ahead and leave that block or that row in the middle empty for now. That's where we're going to dump our villagers. But uh, before we do that, we're going to place in just a few more of these temporary blocks. Let's place two here, two here. Come over to the opposing side of the farm, two here, two here. And then we need to kind of block in the area so the villagers don't escape as soon as you start putting them in here so we're going to build off these um well actually i don't want to build directly on them we're going to be putting stuff in there but we do want to step up off 
of uh, those blocks and build a wall around this structure. Oops, wrong button. Uh, go ahead and build a too high wall that sort of wraps around this. I suppose you don't need them in the corners here. Uh, but that's going to help keep your villagers in place. And here again is where I will likely be working in some sea lanterns for decoration. Then once you've wrapped your wall of little of glass blocks around your little bed platform, we can finally start getting our villagers put in here. And you want your villagers to kind of be dropped onto onto this path in the middle. Uh, they they cannot pathfind across beds, and you want them to find their bed. Uh, so the best way is to put them on the clear path to it. Okay, so let's start putting our villagers in just one at a time. Uh, it's not a bad idea to, to maybe do this at night. So let me make it nighttime real quick. Okay, and the reason you want to do this at night is so this way whenever you drop them in here, they kind of find their bed instantly, or, or at least they're supposed to. There we go, he found one, and he's going to go right to it. So, two, three, four. Oh, uh, leave bed. <laughs> Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and yeah, cat, cats are going to start spawning in right away, but now that it's nighttime, let's go ahead and kind of build these guys into place where they are. Uh, you do that just by placing blocks over their heads. This actually isn't going to trap in those babies yet, uh, not until they grow up, but like I said, they, they have trouble pathfinding over beds, so if we can get the other beds in place... Before morning, we shouldn't have anything to worry about as far as them getting away. So let's go ahead, get that one in there, and that one in there. We're actually going to break out this block in the center and replace it with a glass block. We're going to put a glass pillar right there, actually. Uh, let's put a sea lantern on top of that. <laughs> and then, uh, yep, bed here and here. And we want beds on these outside tabs we put in, so let's put one there. Just covered that one up, put one there. I didn't want that block right there anyway. And, oh. Bed here. Bed here. Now all our villagers should be trapped in the place. And then, see, we already got a cat that spawned in there. We want to make sure we got at least five cats in this farm. Uh, this way your farm doesn't act like a string farm instead of an iron farm. So we already got one. Let's go two, three, four, five. They also have trouble pathfinding across beds. So you might find they'll sit in just one spot. And, well, that's absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But let's go ahead and close in the rest of this. Uh, now, like I said, whenever the adult villagers grow or stand up... Their heads are going to be stuck in these glass blocks, uh, so they're not going to be able to move in anyway. Now, that being said, I do not know if uh, they can get struck by lightning in there, so I don't know if another level of protection would be necessary, like another platform above it. But as you can see, we already had some cats spawning in, that's a good sign. So we know that the farm is going to be active, we just need to add in some water and a kill trap. Okay, so before adding the water, I decided to go ahead and dispose of the cats that were on our spawn platform down here. Uh, now what we're going to do to add in the water is we're going to put water in all along one side here. So let's go from this corner all the way across to that corner. And then on the opposing side of the farm, do the exact same thing. Start on this corner, go all the way across. And then it should you should have just this one line in the center here that the water is not covering. Just come to that outside block and just put one water source on the end on that outside block. It should push everything towards the center. Uh, do that on both sides of the farm. Uh, I suppose you could have done this part before you put the water in uh, because you won't be able to fly around like I'm doing. But go ahead and break out all of these temporary blocks. And when you're doing this, be careful not to hit the signs that, that are in place. That could be disastrous. And then this glass block we placed right in the center here. We can go ahead and break that thing away. Uh, and of course, you didn't have to use glass for that. 
But then right on top of the bell, we are going to place our bucket of lava. Right there. So put that in, back away. I guess there again, you could probably put the lava in before the water. <laughs> uh, in case you have don't have depth strider or something like that. And you're going to want to leave yourself a way out of this thing. But from here, the farm is active. I mean... Uh, it's not going to do you much good to stand around and watch it. <laughs> uh, you, you might get one golem every five to six minutes. Like I said, the, the rates are not great. But it's an unlimited source of iron that you don't really have to do anything to collect aside from, of course, build the farm. And there we go. We got our first iron golem. It's only been a couple of minutes. Uh, so, you know, like I said, not fast, but our first little bit of iron... Huh. Four, four ingots off that first golem. So there you go. Uh, iron farm up and active. And my friends, that completes today's tutorial. Now, I, if you were interested in researching a bit more into this subject yourself, like I said, I will be posting my reference material in the description below. Uh, and, uh, of course, you know, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button. And if you're interested in seeing more from me, consider hitting the subscribe button as well. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching and wish you all a wonderful day!